Hi, I'm Ken Duar. I'm the Applications Manager for NXP Semiconductors and today I'm going to be talking about our new addition to our ecosystem. It's called the LPC Link2 Debugger. The Link2 is the latest addition to our ecosystem. It is a fully functional JTAG debugger designed to work with any NXP LPC microcontroller device. Link2 is very flexible and is compatible with the NXP's LPC Expresso IDE as well as IAR, eWorm and Kyle MDK. NXP provides firmware that can be permanently programmed onto the Link2 via an easy to use configuration tool. Using the configuration tool, Link2 can be configured as a Simpsys DAP or JLink Lite debugger. So first download and install the configuration tool. Make sure that jumper one is removed from the board as shown. Plug in the USB cable. The Link2 enumerates as a USB DFU class device, allowing firmware updates and programming to the onboard quad SPI flash. Download and install the configuration tool. Open the configuration tool and you should see the screen shown. You can either select Simpsys DAP or JLink. Hit the program button to program the quad SPI flash. Replace GP1 and remove and reinsert the USB. JP1 is needed to boot from quad flash. The flash stores the JLink or the Simpsys DAP firmware. There are a few more important jumpers to note. JP7 is the 10 pin connector for debugging the target. Here it is shown connected to an LPC 800 target. JP2 is used to power the target. Removing JP2, you can see the LED disabled on the target. Replacing JP2 on the Link2 will repower the target. And that's it. Thank you for listening.